What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this working Lego shooting gallery game. I've designed it to look just like the shooting gallery games found in real life arcades and theme parks and I've even built in a fully functional mechanism which allows you to actually play the target shooting game yourself. So let's take a look at how it works. We can move this minifigure and spin the shooting gallery around to provide a better view of the game. The aim of the game is to knock over the target which will move around the shooting gallery on a conveyor belt hidden at the back and to hit the target in all three locations using the guns mounted on the front. To start the game you just turn the handle on the side and you can see this takes the target around the gallery and whenever you're ready you can see if you can shoot it and hit all three shots. There we go, hit the first shot and you can see how the target falls backwards when you hit a successful shot. Hit the second one, let's see if we can get all three targets and there we go, we've hit all three of our shots. And to reload the game, you can simply use your studs, push them back into the guns, and it will be ready to play again. It takes a little bit of skill and practice to hit all three shots successfully, but of course you can change the difficulty of the target shooting game by turning the handles faster to make the target go quicker and be more trickier to hit, or you can move the target a bit slower if you want to make it a little more easier. I'll be showing you how to build the shooting gallery game in several steps. So let's take a look at all the pieces you're going to need to build the first part. We'll start by building the base which connects all of the sections of the shooting gallery together. Once you have your pieces you can start by taking your 4x6 plate and we'll just arrange some tiles on top of this. This will act as the platform which you can pose minifigures on to make it look like they're actually using the shooting range and holding the guns. So it's pretty simple, you just arrange these tiles and jumper plates just like this. And you can see that this allows you to pose minifigures on each gun to make it look like they're actually controlling them. And you'll see how that goes together once we build the following sections. So now we can flip this over and place three of our 2x6 plates underneath to build up this platform at a bit of height. Then the next layer can take a 2x10 plate, press it down so it's nice and tightly secured, there's no gaps and then fill in the spaces on the sides with some 2x4 plates. And you can see it's starting to look a lot more like a raised platform already. Now we can extend it outwards towards the back by taking some of these bigger plates and just attaching them, not to the very end like this, but leaving a one stud space just before it reaches the end. This just makes it a bit more stronger and allows us to add another plate or several plates if you don't have one large plate just to finish it off. Then around the back of this we can place a 1x8 tile and this actually acts as part of the mechanism as you'll see later on. Now we're almost finished with the base we just need to build a small little structure which acts as a helper to flip the target upside down and become more compact as the conveyor belt pushes it along the shooting gallery. And this structure can go at the very end just before this tile so it's secured in place and just sticks out over the edge and you can put this aside for now. Here are the pieces you'll need for the next part which include 23 
of these individual tank tread links. And if you don't know what this piece is, this is just a regular 2x2 two two round tile with a target sticker on it, which I thought was perfect for this build. And I got this from a LEGO friend set, which I'll leave a link to in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. But if not, just any normal 2x2 two two round tile will do the job just fine. So we'll start by taking a 1x7 Technic beam and two axle pieces and we can just slide them through on the ends of this beam and secure them in place with a pair of gears. Now in the middle of this beam take a 1x3 pin and stick that in one end and a 1x2 pin next to it and on top of that you can place a 1x3 Technic beam then in the gap on this side put a 1x3 pin and now you can secure this whole thing in place with another 1x7 beam and to make this symmetrical or as close as possible just take a 1x2 pin and clip it in like that then on one side use a 1x1 spacer just attach that there make sure it still spins around nice and freely and a 2x2 bevel gear and you can put this aside for the moment with the remaining pieces, we'll build the target stand, which allows the target to flip downwards. So for this, we'll need a 1x4 tile with two studs on either end, and a 1x2 plate with a Technic beam attachment on the end. Then next to the Technic piece, take a 1x1 tile, place it on top, make sure it's nicely in line. And then on this side, you want to put a 1x1 one one Technic pin with the stud attachment. And this is quite important. Make sure the stud attachment is on the left, like shown here. Because next, we'll take one of these minifigure neck bracket pieces and clip that on this side. And if you're going to have your conveyor belt going around the same direction as my one, this is very important to have it on the left rather than on the right. Then on top of that neck bracket you can take your second one and place it upside down facing forwards. This provides an area to attach your 2x2 two two round tile. And just attach that underneath and now you can see your target can be flipped up and down and it just rests nicely in the up position by default. And we won't attach it now but when we come to attach the conveyor belt to the rest of the structure you can see how you're able to actually attach this 1x4 tile to these individual link pieces with these small tubes in the centre. And that means that you can actually clip your 1x4 tile to the piece and it actually stays in place there, meaning it can go around and transport the target across the shooting gallery. And you can put this structure aside for now as well. Now we'll build the rest of the mechanism as well as the area in front that holds the guns. So first you'll need to take the base that we built earlier and now we can start adding some bricks to it. So first you take your two 2x4 two bricks, place them in the middle like this and you can fill in the gap on the side with a 1x4 brick and a 1x3. And around the other side, use a 1x1 brick in this space over here. And you can fill in the rest of the area with a 2x3 plate. And at the back, just put a 1x2 tile. Then on this side, you can either use two 1x2 bricks 
or as you can see, I've used a too high 1x2 brick. It doesn't really make much difference, just depends which one you have. So next, round the front, this is where we're going to build the gun stand, which holds all of the guns. So you'll need a 1x2 plate, a 1x2 jumper plate, and another plate on the other side. And on top of this, we can place some 1x1 tube pieces. Now back onto this red area here, you can use a normal 1x6 brick. Just clip that down there. And on the other side, we'll use a Technic 1x6 brick. Then in the middle, place a pair of 1x1 Technic bricks. So you create this little box here and making sure that the side of the holes is facing towards the middle. And this should allow you to slide a 1x8 Technic axle through the middle. And on this side, you can just connect a 2x2 bevel gear. It might be easier to take out this brick on this side while you do that. But once you've attached your gear, you can simply place that just back how it was. Then on the opposite side, take a 1x2 plate, place it on top, and you can secure this whole compartment with a 2x6 plate. Now we can put this aside for now while we build the handle which we'll use to operate and turn the conveyor belt. And this is Another little simple build, just a 1x2 Technic pin, but this should be the one of the ones that has not got much friction, so you can easily spin it. And a 1x2 Technic cover piece. And you can attach this handle to the axle, and that should slide in nicely, so you can turn that around. And we'll adjust it later so it's not wobbling about so much. So now we can attach this other Technic build that we created earlier. And you can see how this connects into the Technic brick. You just basically attach all of the places that you can attach into the holes in the brick. And you might need to rotate this gear until you get it in line with the other gear. So then you just create this simple bevel gear system. You can start to see how this will turn the conveyor belt on top. And this is where we can start to attach all of the other bricks and remaining pieces. First, we'll attach a 1x4 tile to the top of this 4x4 tile with the studs on one side. And then that can go in the middle. You can see how this actually fits in between these gears, still gives them room to spin. And this basically provides some support for the conveyor belt when it runs along the top and makes it balance slightly more towards that side so that the target will stay upright by default. And we can smooth this whole area off using a couple of 2x4 tiles. And you can see these are quite good because they cover a large area. They just make it a whole lot nicer and better to look at. Now finally, we're going to want three of these relatively new Star Wars blaster pieces. And of course you can just load them with normal studs. And these slot right into these tube bricks. And the cool thing about this design is it allows you to even position the guns and rotate them so you don't even have to fire them in a static position. You can move them about and 
track the target as it goes along the conveyor belt. Now the last thing to do is to attach the conveyor belt and the target and then we should have a working shooting gallery. So to attach the conveyor belt you just basically have to slide it in through the back and you can attach it in the middle that should work and just clip it down now that's it in and you can test it spins nicely without any obstruction and with your target stand piece just take that and clip it on one of these tank track link pieces and now if you clip it down and making sure to press all of the bricks down securely you should be able to spin that and the target will flip back up when you spin it round with the help of gravity and also the design of this part and this is also a good opportunity to show you a bit more of how this works you can see that when the target goes down on the conveyor belt it hits this structure here and that pushes the target out and sort of flat packs it and this means you save a lot of space and the overall structure doesn't end up being too tall and you can see as it travels along it glides across this 1x8 tile until it reaches the end where it flips back up with the help of gravity and you can see if you've got it angled right it should stay up all the way until it either goes back down again or until you shoot it with one of these guns so now that all of the functional mechanical parts are done all that's left to do is to build the rest of the roof and sides which are purely for decoration so here are the rest of the pieces you'll need to complete your LEGO shooting gallery game and this section is purely decorative so you can really design this however you want but I'll still be showing you how to build it to be exactly the same as my version so we'll start by building the sides and for this you want to take both of your three tall slope pieces and clip a pair of 1x2 plates underneath them and just clip them so they're in line with the studs on top then you can attach some inverted 2x2 two two slopes and these are mostly symmetrical for now and you can continue building up the height either using 1x1 one one bricks three of them stacked on top of each other or a 1x1 one one and a 2 tool one by one brick it's just so it's nice and strong and adds a lot of height before the roof and then to represent the curtains that hide a bit of the target mechanism I've used some dark red inverted uh, slope pieces and I think these work pretty well uh, it's fairly obvious that they are curtains and that just sort of represents the more classic shooting gallery arcade games and I think that's just a nice detail and it makes it look a little bit more interesting you can attach some 1x1 one one tiles in the space in front So now that with the sides complete, it's time to do the roof and this is pretty simple. You just need a long plate and a bunch of slope pieces and just put them down in an alternating pattern. And once your roof is complete, you can use this to join the two sides together. And now you can use this to complete the rest of your Lego working shooting gallery. So you can attach this to the rest of the structure by just angling it to get it over this 
little bit here and then just moving it about so it's in the right position and it should have a one brick wide gap in between the front and the bit where the sides are placed on. Just press it down so it's all nice and secured and then if we clip it down because it always works best if you clip it down first you should be able to get it working just like that and there you have your working Lego shooting gallery I hope you enjoyed building it and I also hope you have fun playing the target shooting game and you can also check out my other working Lego arcade machines which include a working minifigure scale pinball machine candy grabber machine and even a coin pusher don't forget to give the video a like comment and subscribe for more and i'll be back with more lego creations thanks for watching